Well, look at that. There's a marriage procession going by on rickshaw here. There's a little kid amusement park just hidden in between these shrines and buildings. You know, I think that uh, this park might have been built around the height of Japan's economic excess and then uh, never added on ever again. Some of these rides have some serious, uh, well, it looks like a bit of bit of bit of rust going on there. Yeah, I don't I don't think I I do that. That looks a little scary. Oh, well, there's a lot going on here. And this is the Sensuji Temple, which is a place I came here at night where it was empty and now I'm definitely here during the afternoon day and there are a lot of people here. <laughs> so people are trying to shake out a random kanji and they look into a box and from that box they all have their fortune. When you come to Japan, you probably think, well, this is gonna be a nice, peaceful and calm experience. Then you come out to Tokyo and you see like the shrines and how massively populated they are. It gets a little overwhelming, especially if you're not planning for it. It can be really overwhelming. So this is Sensoji, the temple. This is the bathroom. And then outside there's a little sign that just says men. And that means figure out what to do with it because that's a urinal. This is a public urinal. That's Insane. I sincerely wish I didn't just use the bathroom because I would use that just to just to prove that I could do it. Wow. You can actually see the top of the sky tree. Whoa! Nuts world! That's a lot of nuts! There's the Asahi Beer Hall with the giant flaming piece of poop. There's a lot of poop and pee in these videos. Uh, but they, there was an artist that, that made this structure and it looks like a big piece of poop. And people say that they paid this guy so much and he's such a famous architect that they're just gonna keep it even though it's supposed to be a, a giant flame. But to some, it looks like a big piece of turd coming out of someone's butthole. It definitely does look like something that got puckered out of someone's butthole and it's just like, and it's it, like the soft end right there. The analysis of a flame or a poo. <laughs> you can put your head in this weird dish bowl here. Oh, and now I'm king of the gnomes. Hey, Nomi, don't you know me? The Tokyo Sky Tree is the second tallest human made structure on Earth. Only shorter than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Is that like the Wiz Khalifa? Sure. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Whiskey Fop! Well, if the Tokyo Sky Tree isn't enough for you, you can just walk right here and then have it behind you. Whoa! 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 <laughs> and if you wanted to, you could run up this road and just make it all the way up there. To give some reference, that building right there, that's 40 stories tall. So this thing is gigantic. Ooh, I'm getting like vertigo from being close to this thing. They say that at the pyramids, time slows down because the object's so big, but I, I don't know if I buy that at all. That's what John Turturro said when he was shooting Transformers 3. John Turturro said that John, time slows down. Yeah, because there was it's just big, this big thing. Not John Turturro, the guy, the guy <laughs> from, from Transformers, the Jesus from The Big Lebowski. Yeah, John Turturro. Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus. Damn straight. Sky Tree Magical Halloween Night. That is a tongue twister right there. Look at the ghosts. At the base of the Sky Tree, there's a Chonko Festival, which is what sumo wrestlers eat. And uh, there you go. Sumo wrestlers just looking right at me, looking, coming at them. Well, it wouldn't be going to Tokyo if there wasn't a, some sort of a Pokemon reference or something around here. Look at that, he's riding a giant dragon. Insert your own yo dog. I heard you like joke here. Yeah, but they went all in with the sky tree aesthetic. Except at the top. Top's curved. Nothing you could do. 
so I've been to Kyoto where Kabuki was founded and this is a giant Kabuki theater where the men play the men and the men also play the women. This area is uh, really, really expensive. By the way, if you've ever gone to Epcot, you might have seen the building that you go into that has a bunch of stuff that was founded in like 1776 or whatever. That's the building right there. That's the company. I'd imagine that it's not as tacky as the uh, Epcot version. Yeah, with Tiffany and company there, I don't think so. I think it's a pretty high-end place. So you've got, you've got like new technology here with the Nissan Sony place, and then you got some old stuff here. This building survived World War II, and they still have it here. It's probably been reformed a couple times, but this is a really famous building. You, if you go to the uh, Tokyo Museum on the Museum on the History of Tokyo, they have this building represented because it's still here. This is like uh, when there's a parade in a movie, you just shoot the parade like in uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey and uh, the other girl, the girl I don't remember the name of. You know, oh, they're just Ferris Bueller? Fer oh, yeah. Well, Ferris Bueller, they, they planned that. It's uh, not like he got up on the, on the thing. Kids on the beat. Kids on the street. Beat kids. Beat kids. Beat kids. Hey, Trevor, mm -hmm. uh, there's a guy around here that's trying to get the International Hide and Seek Championship. Have you seen him? He's really good. Trevor, I saw you. You were getting that money shot. Yeah. You looked good. It looked okay. It looked all right. We'll see how it turns out. Do you think it's worth any money? No. Uh, I guess it's not really a money shot then, huh? No. Wow, everything's all flashing and going crazy on my phone. <laughs> oh, back in Rapungi with these weird alien spider creatures. Hey, look who it is. It's Konami, the guys who made Silent Hill. What are they doing now? They're just making pachinko machines. What a shame. This is an underground bike station. Like the ones you see in the movies when you're like, oh, Japan, it's got so much technology. So you yeah. slide your bike up there and it goes in there and it goes underground. Exactly. And that there's a giant round thing down there and it slots your bike in and then you use your sweet your car to pay for it when you come back. And That's awesome. Bring it back out you. So it's, it's just like a, 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 a multi-level parking lot under there. Yep. It would be science fiction-y if it wasn't around since the 90s. Now you might have seen this online, you might say, oh, I know this thing, I know what this is, I've seen this, all. every Japanese place has this, but it's not the norm. The norm is just a place that has road, cement, and there's like, okay, put your bike right here. So don't expect to see these unless you're in Rapungi. How do you do? I'm working on this beat. Oh, there's a karaoke place with a castle on top of it. I once tried to go to a restaurant called the Gothic Castle. Turned out I went to a place called the Gothic Ossel, which is very, very different. So if you find yourself in a very strange area of Shinjuku where you find very, very tiny bars, tiny restaurants, it's called Golden Guy where you'll find very extremely tiny bars that can only fit about like five or six people in them. And this place is just super, super compressed. So you can get scammed out here. So uh, try your best not to get scammed. I can't go in this bar, it's the Brian Bar. Oh, I knew Brian. This is a good example how small these bars are. Very, very tiny. Well, that's enough golden guy for me. Let's go see a golden guy, Zilla. Stop 
really worth 8,000 yen, but it's not not worth 8,000 yen. But I could do this or go to Disney World. Which would you recommend? Probably Disney World. Hi, look, there's his claw. Oh, Godzilla. There he is. Oh, Godzilla. I'm surprised they're not putting the store somewhere around here. The Godzilla store that they're building, uh, I think, like next month. But uh, it's so cool to see a giant Godzilla. Hey, do you think when you walk into Bunny's Tokyo, you walk right into the meat locker? They've got a VR zone here, which I assume is like a VR playground, but I hear the prices are a ridiculous. Oh man, this stuff looks awesome. This is also where they have that Mario Kart game. So basically they have a bunch of different VR activities like uh, Super Mario, they got the Mario Kart. They also got that thing where you have to rescue a cat at the end of a huge uh, skyscraper. But to get in, it's 800 yen, and then you have to pay for every other attraction. So I'd only want to do one, which is this one right here, the hot house VR stuff. But unfortunately, I, I don't think I don't think it's worth the price of admission. Did you see it? Well, that looks oh terrifying. You can fly around as a net. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. I think it's the okay pass on this. I really think it'll be alright. Oh look, there's Godzilla up there protecting that light. God, don't, don't, don't look at the light. Hurry. It's great being in New York, except Tokyo. This is definitely a unique day walking around in Tokyo, but unfortunately it's time to head home and get some sleep prepare for tomorrow because to do another walkabout day in this big city they call Tokyo. So as I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. You guys stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Peace!